I'm just gonna spray it across this tire and look for any bubbling. So I'm not seeing too much yet. It looks all good right there. So that's where our hole is right there. Hey guys, what in the world is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jason and uh, here to help you with all your small engine needs, but we're going to plug a tire today on this John Deere Zero Turn. And um, it's a John Deere C465 and this front tire right here goes flat um, very quickly if you put air in it. And uh, the other three tires, they hold air. Doesn't seem to be cracked too bad or anything. So just imagining it's just got a hole in it somewhere. But um, yeah, we're going to plug that tire. Sometimes it's easier just to put a tube in it. Um, especially if it's been sitting flat and uh, for a very long time. It's got a lot of cracks in it. Sometimes it's just easier just to uh, put a tube in there rather than try and find where the hole is but first things first is uh we'll go ahead and jack it up just gonna grab jack here Alright, so I got it jacked up and what we're going to do is we are just going to uh, fill it up with some air and uh, it recommends like 40 psi, I think that's a lot, but probably like 30 or something. Now it sounds like I can hear it leaking a little bit, um, that probably means it's a quick leak, but um, I got some soapy water here it's just water with some dawn dish soap here and um just got it in a spray bottle and i'm just gonna spray it across this tire and look for any bubbling so i'm not seeing too much yet it looks all good right there So that's where our hole is right there, right here. It looks like it's got a piece of wire in there and that just shows it real easy. It's bobbling where it is. Go ahead and check the rest of the tire. Make sure nothing. Yep, so that's definitely where it's leaking from. So uh, grab the pair of needle nose here we're just going to pull it out. Yep, so it's just got a little hole there. Piece of wire that was in there. Picked up from somewhere. Now you can get all kinds of stuff in there. Nails, screws, um, piece of, you know, barbed wire run over it, put a hole in it. Um, even some thorns off bushes or something like that. Just poke a nice little hole in it. These tires aren't the thickest. This is a four ply, but if you do run over something it will put a hole in it but um, i'm gonna go grab a um, plug we'll stick that in there so if you go to the store and you get a plug kit uh, wherever you might go the auto port store or um, even uh, walmart places like that the hardware store they have these plug kits and uh, usually they come with these two tools so this one here I guess it's called like a reamer and it's very spiraled kind of jagged and um, kind of looks like twisted wrought iron or something like that or a candy cane maybe I don't know then you got this other tool here 
I don't know what you call this, but you uh, stick the plug through that hole there, then you push it down in, pull it back out, and it's got a little hole at the top here. When you pull it out, the plug slips through it. But uh, what you're gonna wanna do here is uh, take uh, this reamer tool, and you're gonna stick it down in the hole and uh, make sure it flushes in there. Because sometimes you have something um, that's really small poking a hole in your tire and um, that'll just make the hole a little bit bigger so that this big thick plug it's only one of them here let's get that out real fast there's sticky little things But it's so this big, this big thick thing here will fit down in the hole because if you have just a little tiny piece of wire like this, then uh, this plug is much bigger than that, which it needs to be. But this reamer just helps uh, make the hole a little bit bigger so that this will fit in there better. So what we have to do now is we have to put this through here. It's like threading the needle. So I usually just swish one end of it, start pushing it through, grab it from the other end and pull it. And uh, sometimes I think they recommend put like rubber cement on it just to help it seal up. I usually don't. I usually just stick it right on down in there. So uh, you're just gonna find the hole. Uh, make sure it's about halfway inside of the tool. We're just gonna go and push her straight on down in there. You wanna push it a good amount of ways in, um, just so there's a little bit sticking out. And then uh, we're just gonna pull it out and it'll all just stick right in there. And so I'm gonna grab uh, some air and stick it back in there. Got a fair amount in there now, it's pretty hard. I'm just gonna check it, see if it's still leaking. And watch it for a little bit, a couple of minutes or so. And uh, looks like we're good here. Gonna let it down. And you can cut this excess off here a little bit if you want. You can't make it too short or else it might sink back down in. But uh, that's pretty much the basics of plugging a tire. And this is on a uh, John Deere Zero Turn front tire. Uh, got a Kawasaki motor, 62 inch deck. So someone added some real funny looking little wheels on the front of the deck there. But, um, yeah. Well, that's how you plug a tire but uh thanks for watching guys hope this was helpful see you next time